Hey everybody, it's Christine from Love of Reborns 13 here, and I am here with my beautiful Audrey. She is the Jade Asleep Sculpt by Bountiful Baby, Reborn by Holly Paws from Precious Paws. Um, isn't she adorable? The lighting's a little dark in here today, sorry guys. Um, tried to get it as light as I could. It's still really warm out, so I did not want to turn on my light, um, or at least my, my uh, lighting kit light. But I might have to if it doesn't really help but I'm gonna leave it like this for now um so I wanted to do a changing video this was an outfit that I had just recently gotten it was an extra um and it's okie dokie newborn and I thought it would look really really cute on her with the coloring um let me see does she have no because this is a onesie and then this one is actually a new onesie as well she's been looking super duper cute in it but I want to go ahead and change her into a sleeper now so and I got a onesie okay but how cute is this it's not adorable <laughs> um and I wanted to have a little chat with you guys it's actually a tag um well not yeah it's tagging off of a of somebody else's video topic and I thought it was really interesting um Renee from uh Random Reborns did a video not long ago talking about the the regrettable sale um selling a loved a doll that that you love um and I thought that was really interesting if there's ever been a sale that um I've regretted because I really really liked the doll um and I was thinking about it because like I know in one of my videos I told you guys there's been a lot of dolls that I've been through um I've had quite a quite many um, within my first year here and it's really happened to kind of get me into a place where now I have dolls that I don't want to sell um, that I am finding the ones that I want to have with me um, for a long period of time which is a nice place to be um, always wanted to get to that to that point not saying that it won't ever happen and not saying that I won't get new dolls at some point I mean I'm trying not to but not saying that that won't happen um, but it's nice to be in a spot where I don't feel like I have to because I'm not happy with something or I, my tastes have changed. Everything seems pretty consistent right now, so that's good. Um, but I guess I do have... I don't know if I have anything that I would necessarily say... I'm going to grab some socks. That I would necessarily say I've regretted. Usually when I've sold mine, for me personally... Um, Either it's 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 usually either to get another let me get my socks. Um oh there they are. Either it's to get another reborn that I really, really want. Um and that's out there. Well actually honestly that's really my main reason why I do it is there might be a reborn. Um these socks don't go with the sleeper, but I'm just gonna put on her feet to keep her feet safe. Um and they're really cute too, they have little bunnies. Um Usually it's to have the funds to get a new, to get a new reborn. Um, but I would also do it if I needed the funds in general in life or whatever, anything came up that would cause me to need it. Um, mostly I usually have reasons for it. And usually when I've parted with a reborn, I'm pretty much ready. I'm content with it. Um, I have had it where I've gone to sell something and then immediately change my mind. Not, not like it's been sold and all that, but like in my head, I'm thinking of posting the doll. I post it and within a second. I take that post down kind of a thing. Um, and if you guys go back a few videos, you guys might remember my Johanna, um, that story, um, the, jo the, my pause Johanna. Um, so there's, there's that one too, where I had decided to keep her, um, which was the first time that it kind of thing had happened. Um, but you can kind of see it through, but that's okay. Um, I feel like for me, it's probably not regrettable, but I would say kind of sad is having to let go of my full body silicone, my, my Sasha number two, um, just because I adore her and she's, she's got really cute face and everything like that. Um, and you know, like when, when are you going to really have funds to get a, a silicone again? But that's a situation where I do, I do need, I would like to have the funds. I'm not in a place where I feel 
that I want to have that much money invested in one doll right now. Um, and, and granted, she's not a high, high end by any means, but um, she's just really cute and adorable. And I always like dolls with a little bit of uniqueness to them. Oh, she looks so cute. What do you guys think? Oh, little Audrey. Audrey Padre. I don't know what Audrey Padre is. I never call her that. Um, I'm content with what what the reasons are and, um, you know, just wanting to make sure that I have balance within my, within my hobby. So I'm okay with that. Color doesn't go completely, but I think it still looks really cute. So there she is. So yeah, so the question was like if you had ever, sorry if I'm like, on a tangent with that one. So it was kind of a hard question to answer for me. Um, that's why I wanted to do a topic on because I thought, wow, that's really kind of an interesting, an interesting topic. Um, so have you ever had a doll that you later on, even if it was the next day, six months from then, a year from then, whatever, you look back and you actually kind of regret having to let go of that one. Normally I, and pretty much not even normally, all the time I have a reason for the sale. Um, so I've kind of come to terms with it, but I would say that would be one the, another one that I did have actually was a reborn Levi that I had. Um, although I don't regret it because in the sense I half regret and half don't, I don't regret it because it went to, um, the selling him made it possible for me to get my Leo, my like my amazing Levi that is like my boy, my forever boy. Um, so, I mean, that's he, that's a great great outcome um but that other Levi I did really really like as well and I do kind of regret not considering keeping him and just saving up for the other one versus oh let me sell to buy a new one um I do kind of slightly regret that um but otherwise I think that's pretty much it so probably just sad about my full body um and that would I guess would be my one regret was get getting rid of that Levi for a new one versus keeping him and then saving a little bit longer for the one that I currently have. And I would have had two Levi's. So, but yeah, so Renee, thanks so much for the topic. And if you guys can tell, it is kind of a tricky topic because you're like, hmm, I don't know. Like it's kind of like a deep thought one, at least it was for me, which is why I wanted to jump on that. So um, definitely check out hers. Um, she did a great video on this topic, um, which is what inspired me to do my video. Um, so thank you for that. And there's Miss Audrey looking so cute. I'm going to hold her so you guys can see her a little better. Or maybe not because the camera's too close. There's her face. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. She reminds me so much of my my daughter when she was first born. Oh my goodness. Okay. My daughter looked really good in whites and pinks and stuff. So it's just interesting that they both do. All right, guys. So I hope everyone's having a great day. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Be happy. Bye.